Hello, Storybirders. This is Kimberly II. I'm a staff member and moderator here, and today I'm going to be showing you around the Storybird site. Whether you've just joined the site or you've been around for a little bit, but you're still confused on some things, I am here to help you out. We're going to start on the Your Stuff page. This page is the page you're directed to when you first sign in to Storybird.com, and here you'll be able to access anything else on the site that you may need. Right now we're at our dashboard tab. You also have the reading tab in which you can see books you've recently read, the writing tab, which you can find all of your writing on Storybird, including long form picture books, flash fiction, poetry, and comics. We've also got the PDFs tab. If you are a member and you've downloaded some PDFs, you can find them here. We've also got our badges. Um, any challenges you've recently done, you can see the badge you've earned. We've got our crowns, our tickets, and our favorites tab, in which you can see the stories that are in your bookshelf or stories that you've hearted. We're going to go over each of these things in detail throughout this tutorial, and I'm excited to show you what the site can do. Let's talk about review tickets. Review tickets are what you use to submit a piece of writing into moderation. Moderation is the process in which our staff members look over your writing and give you something called an expert review. This is when we'll read through your chapter or your story, let you know what you did great, and let you know some places to improve to help you make your writing better. You'll use a review ticket for every comic, piece of poetry, flash fiction, 10 page picture book or 500 word long form. If you've got a longer long form of picture book, then you'll use more than one ticket to submit it to moderation. If you run out of review tickets one month, you can use crowns to get more. Crowns are awarded from daily writing, from completing challenges, or from having a story accepted into the public library. You can use crowns to also redeem PDF downloads. While we're here on the Your Stuff page, I want to quick jump over to the Tools page and talk about this tool right here, the Book Transfer. When Storybird moved to version 2 at the beginning of 2019, some books that transferred over from version 1 didn't transfer over correctly and some of the writing is missing. So sometimes one of your chapters may be blank or have some of the writing missing. You can use this tool to recover some of that writing. Okay, that's enough of the boring stuff for now. We're going to do the fun stuff and we're going to write a story. So you go to the top here, you can click on the Write tab. And this is going to take you here in which you can create a picture book, a chapter book or a long form, a comic, a short story or flash fiction, or you can create a piece of poetry. Today we're going to create a picture book. So if you scroll down, you can see a lot of really neat artwork. Storybird is lucky to have a very wide variety of art from artists all over the world. I think that I'm going to use this piece of artwork. It's kind of wacky and fun. So if you click this little lightning bolt in the middle, it's going to take you to the picture book editor where you can start your story. Now you can give your story a title based on what the story is about. I look at the artwork, I think it's funny, so I'm going to call it Purple Mania. Also, you notice here that your username automatically appears in this box. You can change it if you'd like it to be a nickname or a pen name, but please remember not to use your full name. You can also change the cover style if you'd like. Right now we're using the classic style, but you can also use a landscape style, a journal style, and you can pick a different pattern for the journal, or the iconic style, and you can pick a different picture or image here. I like the classic style, so we're going to use that today. If you go to the next page and click down here, you notice that they give you two blank pages to start with. You can always add more pages if you'd like using that plus sign. But if you add too many pages, you can always get rid of pages by hovering over the page and clicking the X that shows up in the corner. That way you can get rid of the extra pages that you don't need. 
In order to get this artwork onto your pages, all you do is click the art you like and you can drag it onto the page. You can put art on the left side. You can also put art on the right side of a page. And some artwork you can even put at the top or bottom of the pages, like so. Once you've got your story filled in and you've wrote what you want to say, you can go ahead and save up here. You can also change the font if you'd like. Then once you've completed your story, you can go ahead and click save and exit, that blue button up there at the top. Then if you're not quite finished, you can just save it as a draft and come back to it later. Or if you have finished, you can choose to publish it privately or publicly. We're going to do public because I want the site to be able to see my story. You pick the language. This one is in English. You write a quick summary of what the story is about. You can use some tags if you want. So this one might be silly, funny, crazy. That's what my story is. And then you can choose some categories. This one, let's just say it's mysterious and it's funny. Perfect. My story is all set. So I can go submit for review, and that'll use one review ticket since my picture book is less than 10 pages. Congratulations, you've just completed your first story on Storybird. You will be notified if your story is approved to the public library or if it's returned and you might need to fix something. So we've completed our first story on Storybird. But let's say you want to write, but you don't know what to write about. Storybird has some tools that can help you. You can jump up here to the Challenge tab. You'll find basic writing, creative writing, thematic compositions, children's songs, leveled reads, and how-to guides. Basic writing are simple challenges to help you become a better writer with prompts, lessons, tutorials, and quizzes. For every challenge you complete, you'll earn a badge to boost your confidence, and you'll get some crowns. And these challenges are filtered through grades. You've also got creative writing and thematic compositions. And these give you ideas on what to write about if you're having a hard time. We've got a Father's Day challenge. Also got ones about summer, life at camp, new start, maybe a future city, staying healthy, writing for mom, and there's a lot of other options there. If you're interested in becoming a better writer and you have things you'd like to learn, the how-to guides might be a great place to go. If you're having a hard time writing an interesting story or formatting dialogue, there may be some tips on this page that can help you. Not only can you write on Storybird, but you also get to read what all the other users have written. We're going to go up here and instead we're going to click the read tab this time. You can choose if you want to read picture books, chapter books, comics, short stories, poetry, or the Storybird blog. Here you can filter the stories you want to read based on what's popular this week, popular of all time, popular this month, this year, or new stories. You can also pick the genre. Maybe, you're, maybe you really want to read a book about animals or family or educational informational books. You can pick that there as well. We'll do new books about adventure. And then you can pick the story that you'd like to read. The outdoor world looks promising, so we're going to read this story. And let's say you really liked it. You can leave a heart saying that you liked it. If you're a member, you have unlocked all of these different hearts that you can use. Let's say I thought the story was really cute, so I'm going to say I loved this story. You can also add it to your bookshelf, which makes it easier to find if you want to read again. When I hearted this story, that's going to give a notification to the author, letting them know that I liked their story. A notification when they arrive will show up right here at the top left-hand corner of your screen. Here you'll be able to see if people mention you in comments, comment on your stories, or heart your stories. You can click directly on the notification and it will take you to the page where you were mentioned or where the notification is from. You may notice that every user has a picture next to their username. That's their avatar. 
change your avatar, you simply need to go to your stuff and then go to your account settings. There you'll see the box to update your avatar and you can choose from any one of the avatars that Storybird gives you. Once you've updated your avatar, you can also change your theme if you'd like. And if you go up to email notifications, you can choose when you get emails. You can get emails when someone mentions you in a comment or comments on your writing, when someone hearts your writing, and every week Storybird can email you to let you know what you did that week. Something we mentioned earlier was PDFs. If you're a member, you get three free PDF downloads per month. You can use these downloads to download one of your own picture books or one of your own long form books. There are two different types of downloads. You can have a digital download that you can view and read on your Kindle or your computer or phone. Then you have a printable PDF, which you can print out and fold into an actual picture book. One of the newest features of Storybird is our print feature. This gives you the option to print one of your picture books or chapter books, either as a soft cover or a hard cover. Once you've selected how many copies you'd like, you can add that to your cart. The price you see varies depending on how many pages are in your book. You can go ahead and check out. You'll pay for your books, and then it'll come to us here at Storybird. We will print your books with our printer, and then we'll ship it back to you. One more thing I'd like to go over is adding a new chapter to a chapter book. So if you're writing a long-form story, and you've picked the art you want to use, you're in the long form book editor, you'll see at the top right hand screen this drop down menu. This shows you all of your chapters and gives you the option to add a new chapter. Let's say you want to add a new chapter to a story that's already awaiting a review. I want to add a new chapter to The Wall Walker. I'm going to click here and I'm going to click Edit. You notice this notification pops up. If I were to say yes to add a new chapter right now, it's going to take my story out of moderation, return my review ticket, and then I would have to resubmit my story to moderation after I add the new chapter. And that is storybird.com. I realize I'm not able to cover everything, but that gives you a basic overview of the site and what you can do with Storybird. There is also frequently asked questions. If you scroll all the way down to the bottom of your screen, you'll see these little tabs here. And if you see this one, QA and help, this is our frequently asked questions section, which gives you more information on things that you may have questions about. So feel free to come here for things that you're unsure about. Also, feel free to mention any staff member if you're confused, and we will do our best to help you. Thank you so much for joining me on our little Storybird tutorial. I am very, very happy that you're here, and I look forward to seeing the writing that you'll do on this site. Again, this is Kimberly the Second, Storybird moderator and avid bagel eater, and I am very happy to have been able to help you today. Take it easy, guys.